appreciate and they're valuing you, your worth or something like that. And that's why you're going to get ready to have this new kindred partnership to come in. So be in receptive mode. Be ready for this energy to come in. This is why you had to cut your losses. For some of you, this is specifically speaking to relationships. It's like if you don't know... If you don't know your worth or your value, no one else is going to value you or think that you are worthy. You got to be that thing first, okay? A woman, so some of you may have a partnership or dealing with a woman. This scarab beetle always speaks of magic to me or luck, abundance. So not telling you to go try to manifest or not. I don't, don't go, I don't care what you do. This is no judgment. I can't tell anybody what to do. That is not for me to do, okay? But I feel like some of you, if you've been waiting on a husband, waiting on a divine union partner, you can get ready, child. I'm going to keep talking about it until it actually comes in. And somebody think that they ain't going to never have a person, child. God just got to make you ready. He's teaching you about patience. Hello, honey one. He's teaching you about patience. Now, I just, who, look, somebody lost out on a good thing. That's what y'all cut this cord, which, oh, they said talk about, can we get the clarity card? Uh-uh. Some of somebody lost out on something good. Now, look, this is the thing. Can y'all see this little fella that got his back turned? And this is, so imagine this. If you have disconnected, whether male or female, put your, like, take it how it resonates in your spirituals and flip it, switch it, rub it down. Oh, no, however you got to put yourself. You, it's like you walking away, cutting your losses, moving away from someone who didn't value you or didn't see your worth, whether this is a job, a relationship, whatever this is. Now they finna be sorry, child, because you've done the work on yourself. And now they're going to be like, man, that's the one that got away. Just telling you, and you done sailed off to the sunset, but you cut that cord, baby. I don't know what y'all did, and y'all know Capricorn season, that's a, that's new contracts. Yes, it yes, it's represented by the devil in the tarot, but, te but that Capricorn Saturn energy is all about cutting your losses and ending contracts that are not serving you. Whether this is energy, whether this is emotional baggage, whatever this is, whatever you've decided to cut your losses with, this is calling in and making room for new connections that Padre God actually wants to bring into your life. And this is also like soul tribe energy, family energy, y'all. This is heavy on networking today. It feels like really aligning yourself with people who are moving in the same direction as you. Because for some of you, whoever this person was, it feels like their energy was very stuck they were very anchored. Maybe they were very stubborn. Maybe they refused to grow and you could have outgrown someone. And that's why you had to decide to cut your losses. This could be with organizations as well. People that you had attachments to circles, right? Places that you put y'all look at the scarab beetle. Didn't I just say it's all about, it gives me about luck. I'm telling y'all right now. I should, they showed me the beetle on this one, on her little thing right here, and then it showed up at the bottom of the deck. So some of you, this is about, you may have left someone that you thought you were going to have a family with, but this person, whoever this person is, it was like, I don't know, maybe they couldn't hold on or couldn't release some, do the healing and release some emotional baggage or something, child. Let's clarify it and see. You could have been taking on their energy. It could have started off really good, but it feels like somebody was unwilling to do the healing. And you started to realize how this person was kind of keeping you scattered and all, like pulled in all these different directions or either just being around people as well. There we go. Invention is the card that's coming in next. Great power of thinking and reasoning, creativity and great ideas, finding the answer okay so some of you you literally took some time to go within and just realize that you weren't growing where you were you weren't growing like some of you could have felt like your creativity was stifled by a particular connection y'all we have whether this is family i don't care what this is you're going to start to recognize how your creativity is stifled and there may be someone and i ain't gonna you know Padre god will put people in your in in your path to make to force you to grow and some of you that's the lesson that you've had to learn saturn the devil card the capricorn energy is all about learning lessons so some of you, you really going to get a pass or fail in this in this time period. It's either pass or fail. 
If you learn, then Saturn is going to cut you loose and allow you to move into and sail into your sunset and sail into this new beginning for you, right? If you fail, then guess what? You're going to find yourself repeating another cycle. It could be with a different person. If you refuse to do the healing, then guess what? You're going to be stuck and you're going to have to sit. You're going to have to learn that lesson. And it's not until you learn it, do the healing from it, that you're going to progress and move forward. Family and friends, loneliness. This card came out yesterday, y'all. So some of you, I'ma just, we're gonna talk about it again since it's coming back up. You may feel a, a lot of you, if you've recently suffered like a, a breakup or something like that from someone, you are gonna go through a period of loneliness. Do not under any circumstances. I'm not trying to be funny and I can't tell you what to do. Please don't go back or don't go and settle for something because you feel lonely. I'm guilty of this. There's no judgment here ever, okay? But do not go back because you are feeling lonely and because now you like, you know what? Look, wait a minute. Hold on. Who know my <laughs> Betty? Betty. Mm -mm, we not living in that world. And I don't know what world you was living in. They just started saying it. Hey, Having a piece of man is better than having no man at all. So I'm going to just take what I got and work with it. You understand what I mean? Now don't, after the rain, oh my gosh, y'all, it is raining. You know what? Y'all get on my nervous system. I love spirit them. Child, tip Betty, Betty. <laughs> we is not after the rain, okay? trying to tell you no having a piece of man is not better than having no man at all so i'm not just gonna take what i got and work with it you understand what i mean now don't you remember thinking back just a few years when people used to try to help you stay oh i had got lost for a second okay i'm back <laughs> okay they find out you on the verge of breaking up Okay, let me get to this fragmented energy. I'm back. Betty, you was wrong, though. You was wrong. Is Betty, Betty, she's still here. I don't know. She's she still on earth. It's probably not high. Hey, Betty, Nim. You didn't get that one right. <laughs> Love you. Yeah, you know I be out here. No painting and no gaining and after the raining. Bars? That was bars. You should have had me on the song. I should have been on the track. I don't think I was born yet, was it? I don't know. But... Yeah, <laughs> no painting, no gaining, and after the rain, and we we don't we we not doing that. <laughs> We's the upgraded Israelites. We's not doing that. <laughs> we not we not just start settling for anything. We're not doing it. Okay, fragmented energy, not fire and oh Lord, why is all the superstars and them coming through in the spiritual fire and desire? <laughs> this why I'm gonna tell you right now. Who is who's who messages this? Let me look at the cameras real quick. Uno momento. Don't you go back talking about some love them and leave them. That's what I used to do because you got some fire and desire in your spirituals. That's why. Because some of y'all going to be like, oh, it's been so long, child, the Sahara. <laughs> Feeling, I'm not, no, I'm not going to do that. We is rated PG again today. So we is not going to talk about how the dryness in the Sahara. Put it, make it, put it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Because, uh, yeah, it's dry. I mean, not, but yes, maybe. <sighs> this is too much. This is stressing me out. Because, because. You, they know, y'all know, y'all know what I'm talking about. Let me just drink some coffee. I, just understand. <laughs> Don't you fall for the okie doke. Lord, whose spirit names is this? Y'all, spirit names finna cuss y'all lot. And I didn't already use, it was 1.5. Because I had almost said the, the H-E double hockey stick. So I'm gonna give that a half a point. I had almost said that. So I still got three and a half more cussing words left. And y'all spear names is ready to use them. Don't do it. Not, no, we're not going to say that. We don't curse people. We don't curse at people. We just say it in regards to other stuff. Okay, I'm back. Don't do it. That's all I'm saying. Look, she was ready to yearning for something or someone fantasizing wishful thinking a want 